Hi there, thanks for checking this video. I'm Jackson Felden. Today I want to show how you can restore OneDrive in case a ransomware attack strikes. Let's go into it. Okay, uh, here I am at my virtual machine. As you can see on my OneDrive from Contoso, I have a couple of files I have been, let's say, working for the last couple of days. And I shouldn't, but I managed to download a ransomware to my desktop and now let me run that little software. Okay, let me run. And then, as you can see, with that uh, quick click, now all my files uh, have been encrypted. Okay, yeah, as you can see here, all the files are encrypted and the system is already now doing the whole synchronization back to my One, uh, OneDrive online. And yeah, actually it's done. Anyway, uh, now I kind of lost access to all my files from my OneDrive. And then the little trick I want to show is how we can restore to a, let's say, previous working uh, state. Okay, the way to do that is here in the bot corner, I need to click on OneDrive, just click in there, and then make sure you go over the view online, just go there. Okay, now here on the top right, click on that settings, and here basically is the kind of, you know, the magic place, restore your OneDrive. Okay, let me hit the button, click in there, and then from here, let me click again. Okay, get in there. Yeah, from here now we have a couple of options. I could jump in straight and select, uh, I want to restore from, let's say one week ago, from three weeks ago and so on. Or I could click on custom date and time. And actually this is really useful because I can see last time when there was a kind of, you know, high activity on my OneDrive. I was doing some kind of good tests on 11th, and then this is why the chart here, you know, points to that. In a real ransomware attack, that could be, let's say, the indication when actually the ransomware basically encrypted all the files. Now I have the option to go back, and from here, if I go back to that 11th on, on my on my case, I can see loads of files, they were deleted or they were encrypted and so on. Of course, this is only my, my lab environment. Anyway, from here you can pick, let's say, the previous day when the attack basically striked. As you can see, all the details are in here. Or if you are sure you want to restore, let's say in my case, I want to restore from last week, just, you know, select whatever is the, the best day that works for you. And then hit the button restore. And of course I need to confirm now the, I really want to restore to that particular date. Let me restore one more time. Okay, usually takes, of course, depend, depending how, how much data you have on your OneDrive, it can take a couple of minutes. But in a few minutes, in my case, it's just a lab environment, I should be able to see all my files restored before, let's say, pre previous, the, um, the ransomware attack. Okay, I will pause the video now for a, for a couple of seconds, just to don't want to waste your time, and then I will come back when everything is uh, kind of ready. Okay, um, yeah, one or two minutes uh, have passed. As you can see, now the restore have been completed. If I click on return to my OneDrive, let me check the files, hopefully everything's back. Yeah, as you can see, all the files are back now to the previous state as a proper Word document, Excel, and so on. I believe the synchronization is completed as well. Yeah, there you go. Okay, because I'm using the synchronization to my local, let's say local device in here, all the files are back. If I double click and try to open up one of those files, everything should be back in business. And that's pretty much it. I hope you don't need to do that, but in case something really bad happened with your OneDrive, like a proper ransomware attack, at least now you know where you can go to restore to a previous kind of working state. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe my channel, and I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.